Praise the Lord. I want to say good afternoon, men and brethren, wherever you're hearing my voice, all over the world. In Jesus' name, I'm going away again this hour. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Today, I want to delve into the matter of marriages. Husband and wives, praise the Lord. Before we do that, I want us to pray. Father, we thank God as much as we go to the Word of God. For this Word of God solves all manners of problems and crises in the world. Oh, all the men and women will abide by your Word. The world will have been a better place. Because the injunction, this is the constitution of humanity. This is the relationship between God and man, the Bible. All problems of life are solved by these scriptures. So, for the preliminaries, we will go into the word of God now. Concerning the issue of marriage, in Jesus' name, receive your glory. In Jesus' name, pray. I want to welcome you in Jesus' name. The book of Ephesians chapter 5. I will read verse 22. Wives, submit yourself unto your own husband, as unto the Lord. 23. For the husband is the head of the wife. Even as Christ is the head of the church, he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is sorry unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husband in everything. Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Let me cleanse it and sanctify it with the washing of water by the blood. Ephesians 5 27. That he might present it to himself a glorious church. Not having spot or wrinkle or insulting, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Verse 28. So ought men to love their wives and their own bodies. And their own bodies. He that loved his own his wife loved himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, on his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife and the two shall one flesh. Verse 32. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ and the church. 33. Nevertheless, let every one of you in practice so love his own wife. So love his wife, even as himself. And the wife see that she reference her husband. This is the word of God. Say, wife, Submit to your husband. Husband, love your wife. Now the question is, do we as men love our wives? Praise the Lord. Remember, marriage is the greatest and oldest institution upon the earth. Marriage is the work of God. It's God that instituted marriage. Praise the Lord. It's God that instituted marriage. Marriage is not the work of man. If marriage is the work, work of man, marriage will actually become past tense. It will become history. Because one of the things the devil fight against is marriage. Marriage. Praise the Lord. The book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 19. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he will call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Verse 20. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found an help meet for him. Verse 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord had taken from man made he a woman. And brought her unto the other, unto the man. Verse 23. And Adam said, This is now born of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, and man and his wife were not ashamed. So I want to tell you, God gave Adam his wife. Now, 
the way love our wives. If a man loves his wife, will he beat his wife? Nowadays, we see domestic violence everywhere. And what prompted me making this video is because of Osna Shi. A woman, when I heard about her Mary, I was not happy. Even as I'm talking to you now, I feel like crying for her. I don't know how one on one, I don't know how in person. I don't even know I don't even know more much about her song. Until on Tuesday when we were coming from Lagos. When we were coming from Lagos and we we were hearing about Osinashi at that I said who is Osinashi? And before they said there were women that joined to sing a queer man. So when I knew she was the person, I was sad. And when I began to hear her experience, her encounter with this one, with her husband, it was so sad. I used to preach to people and said, any man that pray that I'm a pastor, a pastor congregation, I have church where I'm pastoring. I used to tell the congregation I'm pastoring, any man who beat his wife is an irresponsible man. You are devil's incarnate. You raise your hand to beat your wife. Why must you beat her? Is she a slave? Do you marry her to use her to learn her to box, to use her as a punching bag? How many men have you beaten her side? How many men have you beaten her side? What that woman passed passed in the rap in the hands of that man, it was terrible. How will a man so heartless and so wicked as to maltreat this woman, Osnachi? The woman he ought to cherish. The woman that can make his day all the rest of his life. The woman of such such a star, such talent, that you support to encourage and support her. Oh. It's a pity that this man have the God to beat her every now and then and make her life miserable. Yet yeah, the woman did not mind. Listen to me. Last month, there was a lady in a church, in our church, after service on Sunday, she entered the pastor's office and said something to me. She said that last night, that was on Saturday night, her husband entered her room. And her husband was beating her, beating her, beating her with the wood, with the stick. And that she said, unlike her, unlike her, she kept quiet, she, did, she just endured the whole thing because of love, because of his children. And then she said, if it were before, she would grab her own husband, she would grab him and beat her own and, and hit her own. But she just started to endure the whole thing. Now there's something she said that gave me concern. And I didn't condone that with her. I didn't even want her to condone that. What is that? She said that one of the days, her husband carried a collapse and chased her. She had to run away from the house. And they are living in their own house, in their own building. She said she is not afraid because of, she is ashamed of herself because of the way her husband treated her in the house. I said, this one now, don't enjoy it only again. Go and tell your own people that her husband is chasing you about with collapse. That was last month. And also go and tell his own people that her husband is chasing you with collapse. Because if anything happens tomorrow, if there's any eventuality tomorrow, they will say, oh, but he didn't tell us what we are suffering, what's happening to He didn't tell us, didn't know. You keep it yourself. That was the case of Osinachi. She kept the whole thing to herself. Even when her parents, uh, her brothers and sisters, she's just pleading, everybody should be, her husband will change, her husband will change. Can devil change? And the man comes and says, pastor, ah, what kind of pastor do you see? This affects you, every pastor. Well, I cannot judge a man, but uh, the man is a shame. He's a shame to men. He's a disgrace to men. How can you beat such a woman of a high caliber? If this woman were not a star, and this if this woman is a star, and this man treated him like, her like this, if this woman were not body, you can imagine what the man would do to her, to her even worse. And as she's doing, as she's done late, and that woman will be angry to come manage through this, this is a devil of a man. The man is wicked. He's Satan's incarnate, the devil's incarnate. Colette, the one I had that pain me, one of the ones he treated the children, and the woman, they cut the woman, they gave to the woman. Osinachi, and the, the man will drive the car and pass. Osinachi will be waiting at the bus stop to look for a vehicle that will carry her. Yet the man will pass with the vehicle without carrying his husband. What a shame. I mean, without carrying his wife as a husband. What a shame. 
Bible says visions. A visions. I am doing this video especially because of this nation. Honestly, I fed for her. I cried for her. My heart pains. I was sad because of her. So she is so she, so she a kind hearted woman. I met a devil. The man came into her life just to ruin her life. Eh? Listen to me. Many of us as a husband have not even told our wife, shut up. I don't even tell her wife, go and sit down. I don't even tell her wife, idiot. I'm not even cause an abuse and so on wives. I'm being frank to you. I've married since 1995. I've never shouted to my, my wife or talked to her in a, in a disreputable and dishonorable manner. I'm much more raising hand on her for what? Look at it. That's wickedness. Ephesians 5 again. He said, verse 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any sort thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. He says, so ought men to love their wives and their own bodies. He that loveth his wife, loveth himself. The man, let me tell you, the husband was a, was a, was a, a gold digger. Is a leech. He just made the life of the man miserable. At the end of the day, he wasted. He, he killed her. He, his antecedent is what the woman's dead, and he paid for it. I used to tell people. Some people would say I used to preach to people and said, if you beat your wife, and say if you tell a pastor, if you tell anybody that I beat you, I will chase you out from his house. I will. If I kill you, who will ask for you? Look for it. Don't worry. I said kill her first. If nobody look for her, if nobody asks for her, government will ask for her. Government will look for her. Now, where is the man? I heard that he has been arrested. They should arrest him. They should jail him. If it need be that he is, he, they should be killed. He should, he should pay the price. He should pay the price. He should pay. What kind of wickedness is that? You, you, uh, 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 you can't you slap her in the public, slap her in the studio, you can't even allow her, her relation to near her, her house. What kind of man are you? You are ashamed to the humanity. You, that man, whatever is your name. I don't want to mention your name because, in fact, I have a son that I'm, uh, What a wonderful name for you to answer Machuku, answer Peter. Very wonderful name. Yet your character is like a devil, like a demon, like an evil spirit, like a witch. Are you not God? Are you an evil man? Do you come into a lab of to waste her life at such a young age? A woman that gave you four kids, three boys and a girl. You can you don't value her. The woman that you you through her you can make your pay. You are her manager. All the money at the account. You leave her empty-handed to go about without anything to send her. I said the money they gave to her, where she go to occasions, where she go to uh, for, 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 for programs, they gave her cash then to herself. That's the only money she had. What kind of money are you? I can't even like you. I can't even value the woman that God gave you. Such a woman, such a nice woman. So they go, hi, can I have a woman? But to insist that it, he might sanitize and cleanse it with the washing of water by the wall. Well, I want to say this: that what a man sow, he shall eat. The Bible says, "God is not mocked." Galatians, Galatians chapter six, verse seven: "Be not deceived; God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap." I made this video especially for snatching. Listen to women, don't see that man of Rusnashi, that call Rusnashi, that call himself Rusnashi husband. Don't see, don't use her to judge all men. All men are not like him. All pastors are not like him. I don't know where he pastor. Do he actually pastor congregations? He's a wicked man, he's an evil man. And he will pay for the, evil, for the crime he committed. Listen to me. Women are not retreated. We know they talk too much. If you cannot manage a woman and her voice and her talking, that means you are you are not qualified to get to be a husband. Because you must manage their voice. Sometimes when they talk, even though they talk, why don't you go outside? 
Go and buy a broku. By the time you do broku and come back, your mind will come down. Why must you treat her like a, like a slave? Do you mind have to waste her life, to ruin her life, to make her life miserable, to force her life? See, please, no woman should use that to husband of personality to judge all men. All men are not like him. All men are not like him. So, I want to tell you, Osnashi, I don't know. I don't know about you until this time that I heard that you died. May the Lord receive her soul. And then, you that if you are out there, you are treating your wife cruelly and wickedly, repent before it is too late because God will judge you. God will punish you if you don't repent. Praise the Lord.